here it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and today I have another Christmas card for you in fact I have two Christmas cards for you as promised I said that I would make a card using this gorgeous stamping up snowman uh, stamp set and also it comes with a punch and also the papers that I got so I hope you're going to enjoy I think it turned out really cute so I hope you do too so let's get crafting so the stamp set is called snowman season and it's got loads of cute little snowman on it and it's also got one of them is the one that you can punch out and you can sort of add extras to with the hats etc so that's the one I'm using for the first card and I'm stamping it in memento ink onto some whisper white cardstock then for the second card I'm stamping this cute little snowman that's sort of throwing snowballs up in the air and I just thought he was adorable so I've stamped him also on the whisper white using the memento ink ink and I think that came out really crisp and I really liked how that finished up then I'm stamping out my sentiments so I'm going to use the same sentiment on both and that's the Merry Christmas stamp the first one is going to be stamped using the Coastal Cabana and I stamped it and I didn't do a very good job of inking so I had a bit of a patchy effect so I just went back and redid it and actually it still was kind of ombre but I really quite liked it I did add a little bit more to the one end but I didn't dislike it being slightly tonal like that and then I did the second sentiment exactly the same sentiment but this time using the real red which was a really juicy pad it, it, luckily because I'm using my stamp platform by Tim Holtz that wasn't a problem so now I'm going to color in my little snowmen and for that I'm using my stamping up right mark because I've got Coastal Cabana, Soft Sky and Real Red. So we're starting off with this little guy and I'm just taking first of all my Soft Sky and then I'm using that just to add sort of shadows and dimension to the actual snow. So you could use a grey but I rather like this blue. It's kind of a, a, a very cool almost a grey blue so it works really well I think for the snow you want to add like the shadow that you get otherwise it's very flat and you don't need to fuss about blending or anything like that literally you'll see I'm really just almost doing a line just on those edges where there'd be some shadowing round where there's sort of deeper bits sort of where the two balls of snow meet for his tummy and his uh, feet area as it were and so you just add that in and it just works really well and it doesn't need to be too fussy and then I'm taking my coastal cabana and I'm just adding in a little bit to the scarf and the hat just into the stripes again I would perhaps sometimes sort of add in shadowing top and bottom on the stripes but for today I wanted to go for a very simple very clean look no kind of fussing on the colouring I wanted to show you I guess that even if you're not that confident with your colouring that you can achieve a really good result without having to worry too much about adding different colours for shadowing and blending and all of that stuff and probably the hardest part would be the snow in that you're trying to put down a shadow and you might not not be confident as to where that goes if that's the case then just copy what I've done here and I'm not saying that I'm perfect but it, it looks okay I think and and if you feel if you copy it you'll get something that looks similar but obviously if you're super confident anyway then that's not an issue and you can obviously add all the shading that you might want to do on like the hat and all of that but as I say I just wanted to go for something much more simple um, and just show that it still can look really really good so there's this one all done I think he looks just adorable however I did feel that it needed something around him to make him stand out and to give it like an icy sky now ideally you probably could have cut out a mask I just was really careful I wasn't going to put down a lot of ink I wasn't blending or anything like that I was literally just gently tapping it down just to create really quite a patchy look to give like that sort of slightly stormier winter sky look so I think that looked quite effective and it did mean that I didn't have to worry about masking off again on my theme of trying to keep it simple the other thing I did notice was that I hadn't done his little orange and carrot nose so I just added that in and then also on our second 
little guy as well so then doing the same principle on this second snowman as on the first although obviously he's a little bigger so it was a little easier and you can see I'm not being that fussy I'm literally just going around those edges and just putting a line nice and simple but very effective I think so now with this snowman we want to punch him out and also to, to punch him what I did is cut the bottom off so obviously that I can put the card in because otherwise it would not fit and then what I'm going to do is I'm sort of lining him up where I can see him obviously on the back of the punch then I'm lightly squeezing the punch not tight enough to punch it and then just so it grips it till I'm sure it's in the right place once I'm sure it's in the right place I complete the punch and there he was done so this first card is five by seven and it's made of the whisper white thick cardstock I then matted it with real red and followed by a piece of the paper from the uh, snowman set I then used the reverse side and created a mat for my actual snowman image which I had die cut out just with a rectangle die plus then a red real red mat as well for that with the next biggest rectangle die but obviously you could easily do those two by hand as well I then just mounted that onto some foam and stuck that down I think that just gave it a really nice effect next I'm adding my sentiment which was the real red sentiment for this one and I just die cut it out using a Sue Wilson flag die but there are obviously lots of dies that create these sorts of shapes and you don't even have to do it in a flag and I just stuck that down using some wet glue in this case I use my hunky dory construction glue and then onto the next card I thought I'd show you this one so we've got my whisper white 5x7 card base and then I cut a mat a quarter inch down in the coastal cabana which I've just sticking down using my tape pen for this it's um, perfectly strong enough for this card and I wanted to add this to the inside for two reasons the same as I did on the other one one it just gives that extra strength and balance because there's lots of layers on the front and secondly I just think it looks really nice when you open a card and there's something pretty inside like that so then I took the same with coastal cabana layer and then I added two it a mat that was an eighth of an inch smaller on each side of this lovely snowman paper which I then matted onto the front of my card I really love this Coast Cabana colors you can imagine these are one of my favorite sort of colors and I love this kind of pinky red tone and this aqua tones this is sort of one of my favorite kind of Christmas color combos so then I'm using the opposite side of that double-sided snowman paper and creating a border well I say a border like a panel across the front of the card that's approximately three inches deep and obviously then the width of the card then I cut out the coastal cabana in um, an oval shape I used a die for that but again you don't have to do that shape I just thought it was interesting but you could if you don't have a die you could easily just cut out a rectangle or square to your taste I then also cut another layer in the snowfall acetate from hunky dory just to add on to the front you'll see I used a bit of tape into the center of the snowfall acetate to stick it down and that's the only place I did it but that's because I'm going to be sticking my snowman on the front in the center there so I know that piece of tape isn't going to show I then stuck the whole thing down using my construction glue from hunky dory and then the same with my sentiment which on this occasion I just cut straight using my trimmer so it's just a slightly different effect next I stuck my snowman down again I'm using the construction glue you want something nice and strong like this if you're sticking on to acetate because you want to make sure it stays stuck once it's dry so next for this little snowman we're diving into this little accessory box that I got that you can get to go with your snowman and one of the things you get in there is these cute little uh, epoxy stickers that can be added to your snowman so we've got here the little nose now clearly ideally I should have waited for this to dry it's just making it so much harder because my snowman is sliding around on the acetate however I didn't have the patience the other thing I didn't understand was why there were four little bits of coal on the stamp and yet they were only provided three 
I mean, they did two for his eyes and then three for the body. Um, then it became apparent later on that the top one you don't need because if you're using the scarf. So I actually removed that. You can see here, it's just completely covering it. Because what you also get in that little box, apart from the epoxy stickers, if you didn't see it, I have actually done a haul video on this. But what you get is these gorgeous little felt accessories so a scarf some little mittens and a hat um, that you can also add to your snowman so you can stamp these things out and you can add them but uh, they just so cute to add this and they come in different colors i've obviously picked the coastal cabana version but it had red and i can't remember <laughs> what other color but it had other colors there i think it was darker green um so just so cute and i use my construction glue to stick it down that kind of absorbed into the felt and then it made it stick really well to the acetate the other thing that was in the box was this lovely sparkly tape and i just really wanted to add something sparkly to this now obviously i could have sparkled up my snowman i decided not to but i just added a bit of tape top and bottom and i just thought that looked really really pretty and just added a really nice touch to it and it was really nice because it was slightly see-through so then on this other card i also had in the little box some tiny weeny little snowballs so i used my little uh, glue pen there and I added dots of glue to the snowballs that were being thrown out in the air on this other card and then I took the little snowballs and I had a tiny bit of glue on my little pokey tool here so it picked up the snowballs and I was able to pop them down onto the glue and I just think that it was just a really cute little touch to add to that particular snowman and there they are done and I just thought they're adorable now these two um are actually for my mum and dad so hopefully mum's not watching this because otherwise hi mum this is your Christmas card um but I just thought they were adorable and I obviously wanted to make two because I like to make one each for them and I just love the papers I love the little box that went with it the stamps were adorable um everything I just thought worked so nicely together and I really ended up using like something from everything so I was really really pleased with this set and really really loved it so that is it for this week I do have one more video for you before the end of the year so do keep tuned for next week otherwise thank you so much for watching oh and don't forget to go on across to the blog post the link is in the paragraph below this video because you'll see lots of photos of the finished car obviously links to the products used etc and obviously I would love it if you could subscribe either here on YouTube or over on my website if you go on my website and subscribe what you'll get is an email telling you each time there is a video post okay thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon bye for now bye <laughs>